What's up, guys? Main man Sui here. Hoping you're all you're all doing awesome as always. Uh, I'm gonna approach a topic that has been kind of hot within the Tekken community the last few days. I've been away on a hike, but from what I hear, uh, Leffen, who is a very big FGC personality, especially uh, Smash, I know he's really good at. I know he did well in Dragon Ball Z Fighters as well, and many other fighting games. He's really good. He's a fellow Swede. He's from Sweden, just like me. And these days, he's playing a lot of Tekken. I haven't watched his stream, but I hear he plays it a lot. And he has some good things to say about the game and some bad things as well. And this has uh, been quite the controversy from what I see on Twitter and Tekken Reddit. Places I don't like to spend too much time on, but I have received links from people. And uh, yeah, a lot of people are taking offense to things Leffen have to say about the game. And this is unfortunate. It's a thing I see a lot where you have these Tekken zealots on Twitter or Reddit. And uh, whenever you share an opinion that is slightly negative on the game, you criticize the game, uh, you know, in a certain, a certain aspect of the game. And people get incredibly defensive and see it as you being the problem and never the game Tekken. And this is very, very destructive and bad for the Tekken community. Uh, there's this very one-sided <laughs> approach at looking at the game. And there's this consensus that Tekken is amazing. It does nothing wrong. If you have any problems with this game or if you ever get salty playing Tekken, oh, you are the enemy. And salt, of course, is a very human emotion. And apparently Leffen's been very salty playing the game. And he has criticized the cheese of Tekken. And I remember watching Leffen's very grounded and down-to-earth review of Tekken 7, where he said that, for the most part, it's a great game, but it has its problems. He talked about the online netcode being, mm, you know, not too good. And, you know, we agree with him. And Season 4, hopefully a better netcode. But Anamco certainly have hinted at that. But the most important thing he said to me was the bloating of a game, really favoring veteran players who learned everything that was in Tekken 3. You, you have to understand that Tekken 3 is nowhere near as complicated as Tekken 7 because the, the movement is stronger, but the components you have to keep track of in your head, the millions of moves, 50 characters, and in Tekken 3, move lists look like this. In Tekken 7, it's like this. It's like, certainly you've been helped if you're like me and you play Tekken 3, then they add a little bit more in Tekken 4, then a little bit more in Tekken 5, and you can take those changes with time because you've already learned the stuff prior. But when you start out with Tekken 7 or like Tag 2, you're like, Jesus, there's so much to take in. And Leffen just pointed out that the bloating has been so excessive because with every new game, it's not like they removed stuff. They just add stuff and add stuff and add stuff. And a game that already 10 years ago was super complicated. It's like learning a language, a very complicated language. It's just expanded and expanded. And in the end, you're like, is this really quality and substance? 50 characters with, you know, 5,000 moves in total? You know, does this add to the experience? Is this manageable to anyone except for a few people out there? Um, so, you know, a very v valuable insight and criticism I felt was very fair. I've, I've myself tried to point that out before. But of course, stuff like that, uh, the community gets very defensive about it. And I thought we could watch a clip uh, from his stream uh, that was uh, clipped by, I, I don't know who, but it was uh, the Gloomshot bot on, uh, on YouTube automatically added it to its clips. It's kind of interesting to watch uh, because <laughs> it highlights this criticism the community has uh, to a lot of people. As you can see, the title here is Leffen complains about labbing again. Yeah, let's clip that. Oh, what a bastard who complains about labbing. And then let, let's listen to it. Get ready for the next battle. 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 
Yeah, exactly. Like the thing is that most games you learn the you 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 learn the solution to cheese almost instantly. You might not know learn the perfect punish, and it might be hard, but it's never like, oh yeah, you have to lab that. You have to go into a shit fucking training mode, and you have to pay for the DLC, and then you have to pay for the frame data DLC, and then you have to learn the hundred moves to figure out which one it is, and then you can learn the punish. Now you only have to wait for a one in fifty chance for it to, for you to run into that person again. Okay. So, uh, oh wait, I, I gotta find my face again. <laughs> Hello. So, nothing he says in this clip is to me even the slightest controversial. You really have to be, you know, a completely, you know, tunnel vision Tekken zealot to get upset at him for this. But th this is what I see so much, you know. Oh, you complain about labbing. Get good. Just lab the matchup. Lab the matchup. Like, that's something that's very easy to do. So many characters, do you know how complicated it is to lab a Tekken character? And of course, it's completely true what he says. Like, if you don't own the DLC, you can't even lab them. So if you go online, you know, and you're in a particular region, uh, you know, in the world where suddenly everyone's playing, you know, uh, Zafina, Ganryu, Geese, you have to buy those characters to lab them. And good luck trying to figure out the Zafina matchup without buying Zafina and, you know, labbing her in practice mode. It's like, is this controversial? Labbing can be bullshit in Tekken. And it, it's like certain characters like Eliza and Zafina and Ganryu, <laughs> Ganryu <coughs> you never really encounter them. Their pick rates are so low. And in a game with 50 characters where... The top 25 you, you encounter quite often, but the bottom 25, you never see them. And then you, you try to lab them, and it's super complicated. It's so complicated that the only viable labbing you can do is actually finding someone. Hey, I, I'm an Eliza... I'm a strong Eliza player. Okay, thank you. Help me learn this character, because just going through the move list is not going to do a lot. You need a player to explain to you, this is why we do this, into this, into this. Typical flowcharts. And then you learn that. And that, for six months, you never see an Eliza. It's like... And then suddenly, she shows up and you're like, oh, how did, how did I do this again? How did I do this again? Or it's like when I played Nyko's tournament, and I ran into a Leo, and I was like, oh, oh God, I never see Leo. Ever. And then what do I eat when I'm I'm almost winning? Oh, I'm gonna win. He has one pixel health. He's at the wall. I'm I I got this. And then he does a throw, and I'm like, oh, I I failed the throw break. Shit. Oh, I, I'm still gonna win. And then oh no. All right. Leo has a throw that throws me into the wall, and then free rage art, half life gone. And I just knew as soon as that was happening, I was like, all right, Leo can do this. And this is probably something green rank Leos do all the time. It's probably one of the most basic and fundamental things Leo players do. Oh, I have rage? My back is towards the wall? Throw into the wall rage art. I was like, this is probably one of the most typical Leo flowcharts. And I fell for it with all of the time I've spent with this game. I fell for it. And do you know why? It's because I never see Leo. And even if I labbed Leo the day after, that wouldn't make it magically so that I would run into Leo's. So the, I, I'm just saying, this game is actually incredibly unforgiving when it comes to the labbing. Due to its nature. 50 characters, they are all way too complicated. Much more complicated than the other games left and plays. You know, that is how he sees the game. He comes from games where... One character doesn't have a hundred different moves and strings. This game is super unforgiving. It throws you knowledge checks all the time. That's basically what Tekken Ranked is. Have you seen this? Have you seen this? Have you seen this? That's what it is. All the time. And very, very few people actually manage to, to have all of this information not only they have all the data in their head, 
but they only also have a muscle memory to recognize an animation, apply the, the, the proper punish. And do you know what, what those people, who those people are? It's those who have, like Pakistan and Korea, an offline community where you meet up all the time and you have players there who play all of the characters and you can practice against them all the time to, to keep that knowledge and muscle memory fresh. You know, if you play this game only online like I do, you can never master this game. It's impossible. Some characters you just see too seldom. It just doesn't work. Uh, so again, it's very sensible what he said there. <laughs> and then this uh, Twitter comment here. Tekken top players, community figureheads are fine, but Tekken Reddit, Twitch chat, Twitter is legitimately the single worst crowd I have ever fucking experienced. And I called Kingdom Hearts a free, 3 out of 10 game on release while not having played, okay. And then I, I think he he tweeted <laughs> uh, a, a a Reddit comment here from the Tekken Reddit, I'm guessing. Uh, I'm gonna quote the, the comment he has tweeted. What the fuck? Half of the people on this sub are better than Leffen at Tekken and it's actually fucking sad because Leffen doesn't even play Tekken and is bad at it. Is he really bad at it? Somehow he's still, he's still better than many of these Tekken players. But just because that guy is one of the best at children's party games doesn't mean he's that good at fighting games. Not yet, at least. I think he could be if he stopped being a massive bitch and accepted he has to learn some shit. Uh, why do you care so much about how he acts when he streams Tekken? So, left fan, from what I hear, he plays ranked, he gets sniped all the time by players and certain top players like Eddie, top EU player, who picks Fakun Ram and just trolls him. Oh wow. Eddie, well that's great. You, you've been playing Tekken forever, you're amazing at the game. Oh, you trolled him with Fakun Ram. Oh, that's great. So, it, 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 I, I just never can understand this. Leffen, someone plays Tekken, is a big streamer. Dyrus did the same thing. His name is Dyrus, right? Very big streamer. I think he comes from, like, League of Legends. Sorry, I don't follow these guys too much. Uh, he streams a lot, of a lot of Tekken Ranked. He gets sniped all the time. All the time. And eventually he gets annoyed at people key charging him or just trolling him with obnoxious strings. He gets so annoyed that he plugs. Leffen gets so annoyed playing Tekken Ranked that he apparently tr starts trash talking. And he gets really salty. And I'm like, what's the problem here? And there, there, then I have to see these threads on Tekken Reddit. I, I, and I've seen multiple of these posts. Leffen is a bitch, Leffen is a bitch, Leffen is a bitch, Leffen is a bitch. No, the bitch is someone who gets his panties in a twist because one guy, you're so threatened by one guy who gets salty playing Tekken that you have to Who's the bitch here? I mean, just flip your mirror. Yeah, look yourself in the face. You're the one who's taking time out of your private life to, to write about one guy getting salty playing Tekken. Y you are salty about someone being salty playing Tekken ranked. And if we're gonna be honest, who hasn't been salty playing Tekken ranked? Who hasn't been felt a negative emotion playing Tekken Ranked? This game can be incredibly troll. Have you been knowledge checked by Kumas, Yoshis, Zafinas, Ganryus, Lucky Chloe's, Eliza's, Eddie's? There are plenty of troll characters and annoying things. It's like, and it's a very human emotion. Just like I said before, this to me is like this, uh, you know, psychological projection, you know, where you have a feeling within you, you are ashamed of, and you're very quick to recognize it in others and point it out. And it's like, it, if you're one of those guys who points at others and says, oh, you're so salty, you're so salty, chances are you're, you're even saltier. It's like, the one who points the finger the most is often the guy with the most skeletons in the closet. You know, it very often rings true. Uh, 
and also I, I just don't see the point in making threads and shitting on someone. It's like what what is if you feel Leffen is being negative regarding Tekken and his experience with the game, what are you exactly adding by piling on tons of negativity? Hundreds of people I see from the Tekken community on Twitter and Reddit constantly shitting on Leffen. Is this how you set an example for Leffen and everyone else? Leffen is toxic, like he's a piece of shit. And, and what are you exactly? So yes, um, problematic to say the least, I would say. Maybe uh, us in the Tekken community, you know, many of us are welcoming and if we see that Leffen, I, I think, honestly, he really likes the game. I saw a review uh, where he talked about multiple fighting games. I think he posted it a few weeks ago. And he put Tekken, I don't know how many games were in the list. Shitload of games. He put Tekken very high up. So he had a lot of good things to say about the game. But he just said it's flawed. It has flaws. And I, I'm going to agree. Yeah, the game has flaws. But he still had great things to say about it. I think he said that it's 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 the best we have right now. So it's like, what is the problem? Why is everyone so sensitive to criticism about I this game? I was up, Adrian. It's like you're so personal. I, I love this game. In case you haven't noticed, you know, it's my months. big passion in life. I'm Hope gonna have you to say. And the family are well, my dude. But I can still see its flaws. You can't invest all of your personal self-worth into this game. It's like that's so destructive. Um, <laughs> but so again, Leffen has, I think, uh, he, I think he holds the game in high regard. And if you want proof of that, him pl devoting many hours to the game, even streaming ranked is not easy, but he still has the motivation to do so. And honestly, getting upset and angry, that to me can also be a sign of passion. That he has passion towards the game and he wants to become better, but he gets so annoyed at the same time because he hates the fact that he gets knowledge checked so much in Tekken. He hates that aspect of the game. That you, you have to learn A, B, C, D, E, you know, and it never ends. It's this mountain of knowledge you have to take in. And he hates that fact about the game. 50 characters, oh, now it's this, now it's this. And you know what? I can relate to that. Is, is that really an unreasonable position he has there? And is it really a problem that he gets frustrated playing the game? That can be a sign of passion as well. Um, but still, obviously, uh, no one should be... Uh, again, if someone says, like, overly toxic things on stream... Again, I haven't watched his stream, but... Everything I've been shown so far is like people getting upset at him for either like being salty or pointing out flaws in the game or being annoyed at the amount of labbing you have to do and how the labbing works. And none of it to me is, is very controversial. Um, so yeah, I, I, I just want to close the video by saying like, the game is not perfect. It's a great game. Tekken 7 is amazing, but it has problems. And is it bloated like crazy? Yes. Never confuse depth and substance with complexity. Complexity is just adding shit, adding stuff. There's lots of stuff you have to learn. But depth and substance is the core options you have in the game that you can play around with. That's the quality. But the stuff, the bloating, it doesn't add too much. All it adds is hours where you have to study. Study, 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 study. And that's what Leffen hates about Tekken. That you can't just, within a few weeks, learn and then apply the mind games. With Tekken, it takes years. Just years of eating shit. And uh, you know what? I, <laughs> I, can, I can relate to that. Uh, I don't think he's being uh, unreasonable. And I want to uh, also add a quote a lot of people had trouble with, apparently, is that he said that there's 
more cheese in Tekken than in many other fighting games. And you, even high up in ranks, you can be carried by cheese. And fundamentals mean less in Tekken than they do in other games, fighting games, for an extended period of time, longer than you see in other games. And it's like, oh, yeah, I can probably agree to that. You know, it's it's like, again, this example of someone picking, uh, let's say, Ganryu, or even in Leffen's example, uh, I know he plays Zafina, but you can, you can just bully people for free with Zafina. She's very strong, she's very complicated, no one knows the matchup. No one knows the matchup. And it's one of the most complicated matchups in the game, and no one knows it. You, you can you can literally... Or, or, or how I won with Ganryu and Anna and Nina. Nina. No one knows the matchup. I can't play Nina at all. Tekken God Prime in two seconds. I just did a couple of strings. Again, I, I have strong fundamentals, but... You can very easily be carried by cheese in Tekken with certain characters. It's very easy. So definitely there's something to what, to what he's saying. And we should not be defensive about it because we, we can feel... You should not be insecure, but rather see it as Tekken is an amazing game. I love it. But yeah, it has problems. And we can also flip it and say that the fact that characters have 100 moves each is one of the things we love about the game, because that's part of its identity. But still, that's a double-edged sword, because people have to learn a hundred moves on every character. Uh, <coughs> so, I hope that made sense, and I hope Leffen can have a positive experience as well with the Tekken community, uh, and I hope people, hundreds or sometimes thousands of people, don't take turns to write shit about Leffen on the internet. Because that's not being a hero, that's not being positive, that's not being in any shape or form productive or helping our community. That's, that's nothing but piling on with, with garbage. And I think we're all, we're all better than that. Uh, at least I hope so. Uh, so thanks for listening to me, YouTube. Take care.